We want that little portion, which is the non-bromies, to consume that pretty big portion that is the anti-bromies. Because non-bromies are simple people. They are normal people who just dislike the show. Now, face it, uh, nothing can be liked by everyone. Hell, not even life is liked by everyone. I'm, I'm the living example for that. I, I hate my life. I have sworn if I ever get... If I ever... If I ever find... If I ever get my hands on it, I'm gonna... <sighs> anyway... Uh, nothing can be liked by everyone. So naturally, there's always gonna be people who don't like it. However... There's always going to be those people who dislike it, who, no, pardon me, who don't just dislike it, who hate it. Those people are, in this case, anti-bronies. But actually, they are not really anti-bronies. They are anti-everything. They hate everything. And naturally, they're going to hate bronies just because they exist. They have no valid reason to hate that show. That's why anti-bronies are stupid. That's why, not, no, 100%, that's why all anti-bronies are trolls. They are not trolls because of that. They are just trolls who then became anti-bronies. That's what I'm saying. Uh, however, non-bronies are simple, normal people who will completely accept that. They just don't like the show. They are not hooked to it as, as much as you are. Or they are not hooked at all. But the anti-bronies, those are the people we love and tolerate the living horse samples out of. Those are the people that we don't really like. And why? There's many reasons, but one of the most significant reasons is because they have absolutely no arguments. Now, mostly all the comments they post is gay, it's, it's gay, it's gay, it's gay, it's for girls, it's for girls, it's gay, it's gay, it's gay, it's gay, it's for girls, it's for girls, it's gay. And that sums, us, sums up about 99.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
use more than 0.0003% of their brains for thinking. I, I appreciate that. Well, she's actually embraced it. Yes. And she's even made a music video that shouted the bronies out. She's a troll. She's a troll too. <laughs> Forget the Batman, forget the Batcave, forget the Batmobile. For now, I'm introducing to you the Aperture Science Bat Shotgun. <laughs> I'll be right back. Can somebody please tell me um, where that boy lives? Please. I really want to kill him. I, I, I really, it's like the number one priority in my life. In this second. It really is. It really makes their little brony hearts glow. She made it for me then. She made the video for me because I'm a brony. Do you wish that you could be a boy just so you could become a brony? Yes. Ha. Huh. You really shouldn't. Now, anatomically, it would be a lot better for you because, well, you know, no PMS, no pregnancy. But you shouldn't wish to be a boy because you could be a brony because you can be a brony even as a girl. It would be totally awkward and uh, the term brony would would completely lose its meaning. But still, you can. You don't know. We don't care. It's not really. No, I'm I'm fine being a girl. Girls rule, boys rule. Hey, that's sexist. That, not really. It is. Do you want to be a brony now? No. I don't think I can see myself as a brony. Brony for life. I'm totally getting like a shirt that says like I'm a brony. You got a problem with that? What do you want to say to all the bronies that might be watching? Brony on. I will. Bronies of the world, unite. Do your thing. I'm not gonna judge you. Get a light. To the grocery store! <laughs> Batman! Like, come on. Really? It's a pony. You better stop being bronies. Or I'm gonna whack you with your silly little ponies. <laughs> you serious? Bitch, please, where I come from, we don't whack people with toys, we strangle them in the seventh grade. I'm not kidding, that happened. Troll on, man. Troll on. Troll on. Uh, just let me say one thing. If you say that like three million people are trolls, does that make you a troll too? You wanna bro hook with me? Nothing is happening. Why is nothing happening? This isn't logical. I read Machiavelli C Principe. I know what logical is. This isn't logical. No. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> no. Bro hub. Bro hub. Bro hub. Bro hub. Sure. Bro hub. Just no. Bro hub. <laughs> no! No! no. I did it. Thanks for watching. Teens react. Do you have any ideas of what we should watch next? As long as it's not ponies. I have a suggestion. Ponies. Just leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. How about a bro hoof? Bro hoof. One more chance. Bro hoof. Bro hoof. I'm just saying. Bro hoof. Come on, man. No. Right. That was it, guys. I, I really didn't know what to say to that. That was uh, just. Blah. Anyway, um. First thing I want to say to that clip. I mean, I want to say about that clip, actually. Like, I can't speak to a clip, I can't say something to a clip, because that would mean that I'd be speaking to a clip, and that would mean that I'm crazy. Anyway, um, first thing I want to say about this clip is, it's amazing how much stupidity there is on this planet. I, I, I just have to say that it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. And... That's practically it. Um, there were a few kids, though, uh, that really had the right idea. For example, that uh, little black kid who's, who was uh, basically everything we want to see in anti-bronies, which is non-bronies. If you don't like the show, fine. But don't rub it in our faces because we don't care. You're basically just wasting your time. Um, there was that little chick I really didn't know on whose side she was at the beginning, but... I think she is on the side of the bronies. She's a, she's okay. She's like, go on. It's awesome. She might even become a brony herself. 
it is, uh, it is highly possible, very likely. Um, then there was that guy in the red shirt who I still want to strangle. Then there was that guy with that stupid Justin Bieber-like haircut who I also want to strangle. Yeah. Actually, uh, the best thing that will happen to that guy is that every single brownie who ever sees him turns to him and says, <laughs> That's the best thing that will happen to him. Uh, to him. The worst thing that would happen to him, though, is that every single brony that that is able to do that will find out where he lives and make his life a living nightmare every single day. I would love to see a video of that. Uh, to be completely honest, I would love to see a video of that. Anyway, that kid is just stupid, I have to say. Re really, really stupid. Um, there was that blonde chick who's gonna get hurt a lot in future, emotionally, I mean, and probably physically, considering that, the, that she wants a boyfriend that's like, oh, I'm tough. Oh, God. Anyway, uh, that's basically it. There were there some real big idiots. There were some okay kids, and there was that brony kid. I really don't need to comment. He was okay, but he was... Too enthusiastic around the show. Mm, uh, that's that's not really uh, the kind of the sort of people that should represent us because there are uh, there are different types of brownies. There are the cloppers, the the artists. I'm trying to be one of the artists myself. As soon as I figure out how to use that stupid scanner back there. Um, <clears throat> There are, of course, those fanatics who spent like every second of their day uh, with ponies, and honestly, I was a bit too enthusiastic. N nothing bad, though, but uh, I'm just saying that that should really be the people to represent us. They, the chances are very big that they will get carried away and maybe blow someone up or something. Anyway, um, I don't really know what else to say. Uh, oh, one thing. Uh, all they showed them is the intro. That was a bad idea. They should have shown them uh, Twilight freaking out in Lesson Zero. Yeah, that's what they should have shown them. Anyway, um, that that is a that was really the first mistake. That only to show them the intro. The intro. I mean, honestly, I was hooked from the show. Uh, I mean, on the show, to the show. Damn it! I hate this language. I was hooked to the show since the 13th episode. And that doesn't mean that uh, someone that I watched the first episode that didn't like it and someone had to drag me into the rest. No, that means I accidentally stumbled across the 13th episode and then I uh, thought, huh, this is way too professional to be fan, man. Let's check it out. And so I, I was formally um, hooked from the first episode. And I still can't stand that intro. Well, it's not really that I can't stand it. It's just... Uh, I don't really watch it anytime, it's just unnecessary. The Italian opening, though, check that out. Even if you're not a brony, you're gonna love it. If you love that sort of music. Anyway, um, yeah, that's basically it. There's a lot of stupidity on this planet. A lot of stupidity which seriously concerns me. And makes me wonder how this planet hasn't been... How this species hasn't been eradicated by some alien species years ago. Anyway, that's all I could say. If you're not a brownie, tolerate them. If you're a brownie, huzzah! See you next time, eventually. Fusrada!